Welcome back to Fortune Cookie Motorsports. The regular season is complete, and at the start of this season, our Fortune Cookie team was looking a lot like Rick Ware 2.0. But after these performances on plate tracks, I'm thinking these Fortune Cookies are starting to become DEI. They did good, y'all. Let's take a look at the results for Daytona. Fourth place in the big league. Like 700 or so members. I think it was 1,000 at one point, but people have dropped out and everything probably closer to 600 active members. But look at that. Fourth place out of hundreds of people. 187 points. We had race winner Ryan Blaney. We had Tyler Reddick, who ranked second. And here's the crazy thing. All of our other guys, not so great. Anthony Alfredo, 28th rank. Corey LaJoy, 16th. Joey Logano, 12th. But the Fortune Cookies went all in on Ryan Blaney and netted 40 extra bonus points. And in the smaller league, 187 would have been good enough for second place. Almost taking the win. I am so proud of these fortune cookies and not very proud of my own personal team, but it was a plate race after all. They're wild and crazy and chaotic and are an owner's nightmare, both in real life and in fantasy. My real team only 96 points, 50th place, so not so great. But hey, second place fortune cookies, way to go. All right, so now it is time to move on and begin the playoffs round one. Darlington, the Southern 500. Let's see what the fortune cookies have in store for us this week. You will touch the hearts of many, I think. That is a duplicate. It is, but it's a different grouping of drivers, and I think possibly a first-timer. Anyway, pick number one for Darlington is number one, Kurt Busch. I don't remember if I mentioned that on last week's video or not, but I am very excited uh, to see 2311 expanding to two teams, I think. Uh, yeah, a lot of people were talking about if they expanded to two teams, what number are they going to pick? And everybody's saying, oh, 32 is the reverse of 23. But no, 45. That's Michael Jordan's other number. That's the one he had when he played baseball, and he loves baseball because his dad loved baseball. At least I think that's all right. But anyway, they made the right choice, picking 45 as Kurt Busch's number. That's, that's, an exciting, uh, that's an exciting pick for that team. I think it's, it's gonna elevate the team as a whole. I'm interested to see how Kurt Busch does there, and I think maybe Bubba Wallace could really benefit from having a veteran there to just help with setups and help with just a veteran presence. Next pick is 15, which, according to this entry list, is Joey Gase. Now we'll probably have to put him in the garage and he might not even show up, because last time we had a uh, number 15, they were on the entry list, but didn't compete. Next pick is El Diablo himself, Ricky Bobby, 26. Now, uh, I don't believe anybody is in that one, but oh boy, is that going to be familiar when we cycle back to it. Next is 35, again, nobody. Next is 39, again, nobody. And then 25, which is nobody. So we will cycle back to 26 and start counting down and it is our most popular driver in these fortune cookie things and because it is now the playoffs we have got all of our picks back we can use five of each driver in these final 10 rounds it's slick willie b william byron next up is the 35 which is going to come down into michael mcdowell then it is 39 which is going to drop into Anthony Alfredo. And finally, 25, which is dropping down into 24, but he's already on the team, so we're gonna come down into another guy that gets used a lot on this team, Bubba Wallace. So we have the future 2311 teammates 
on this squad. You know, I thought 2311 and Trackhouse Racing were interesting this year, but since both of them are expanding to two-car teams next year, they're also going to be really interesting to watch. So I'm, just, I'm super excited for both of those teams. Okay, so here's your roster for Darlington 2, Kurt Busch, Joey Gase, William Byron, Anthony Alfredo, Bubba Wallace, and Michael McDowell. We will probably put Joey Gase in the garage immediately. And here is, uh, just for comparison's sake, my personal team, which I have, even though I'm still only in fourth place, which is really, really good in the championship, the guy who was leading has just ridden off into the sunset for the past who knows how many races, and so I've kind of given up on any chance of catching this person. So I'm going with the most generic strategy possible. This is literally the top six in qualifying. Ryan Blaney, Denny Hamlin, Kurt Busch, Chase Elliott, Alex Bowman, and Kyle Larson. And if I find out anybody has a to the rear penalty, I'm just gonna slot in everybody else. I'm going for those stage points. So we'll see if that strategy ends up working or completely blows up in my face, which I think it probably will be the latter. Anyway, that is it for this edition of Fortune Cookie Motorsports. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!